lush sparkle look into a mirror, and gently cross your eyes joining the two pupils together to form one eye in the middle and this causes your left and right brain to link in a brainstorm. The center eye seen is your right and left eye peripheral agreeing upon one image. Join two fingers to make the letter X and touch the center of the X on the tip of your nose to make three points of view appear. The view at the left and right of the X is shaded and the center view of the V-shaped area at the upper point of the X is brighter. In normal vision, the left and right eye peripherals see differently at each shoulder. In center vision, aiming both eyes toward the tip of the nose into the bright V-shaped area causes the left and right eye peripheral to agree upon an image opening a full 180 degree range of vision. 180 degree vision or center vision is a combination of cross vision and parallel vision. Center vision triggers dual thought processing of left and right brain activity gathering details that normal vision do not catch. For example, when center viewing fire, flame is black and so is smoke. Find two identical objects, place one in the palm of one hand, and one in the other hand. The objects can be two pennies, two marbles, or whatever you choose. Look at each item in the center of your palms in center view by joining the two items together to mold one item in the center. Watch it for 30 seconds and repeat this process every 30 minutes until you go to sleep. Set a timer to go off every 30 minutes reminding you to center view the two items. While sleeping, you will dream of looking at your hands. When you see your hands, glance at four items in your dream and look back at your hands to glimpse four more items and then look back at your hands again. Repeat this method of drama control to enact dream control. Humans appear in center vision as threads of light, like white cobwebs or very fine wires in a sphere. Know the measurements of your sphere in millimeters from the seven positions, up, down, left, right, front, back, and center. Hold both of your arms out horizontally and measure from the tip of the middle finger of one hand to the tip of the middle finger of the other hand. Your middle fingers touch the border of your sphere in a 360 degree circle. Lay down flat on your back, raise both of your arms straight up vertically above your head with the palms together, and point both of your big toes with the feet down. Measure from the tip of the big toes to the tip of your middle fingers and cut the measurement in half to locate your center point at the navel area. The tips of the big toes and the tips of your middle fingers touch the border of your sphere in a 360 degree circle. The sphere is a ball with a yolk in the center like an egg. Your sphere consists of four sections like four balloons welded into one. The wires in your sphere extend from pores and lines in your skin. Your wires circulate counterclockwise from head to navel and the wires of your arms and legs branch out in all directions. A silver cord about one inch in diameter that looks like TV pixel static goes from the top of your head out of the sphere into eternity making humans look like a glowing jewel hanging on a string. To be aware of the line coming out of the top of the skull walk or run under branches or rocks a few inches above your head and notice the tickling itch on the top of your skull. When humans move through the physical world, the sphere appears to float and carve into the energy of the earth like a boat leaving a trail in water. The navel area of your sphere has a dimple that resembles a bowl and it is the size of your fist and five wires up to eight feet long extend through that opening. The waistline in the sphere has a flap-like feature with small round bumps covering your legs. Long wires shoot out in every direction from the center point in your body. The center point in the sphere looks like the center of a plasma lamp as energy streams in all directions and its size is one square centimeter. Humans are many layers of energy and the center point is always pushing out loosening the layers. Dream control tightens your layers. The front of your sphere has a shield and is 20% the thickness of the sphere. The shell or bark inside your sphere is like an old tree or the same as if a lime has its peel inside of itself. 
The round walls inside the sphere is a mirrored surface reflecting your memories. A fog layer separates the left and right side of your sphere. Energy flows down the front and up the back on the left side of your body and it is fire like half of the sun ejecting solar flares. The left is clear, moves in spirals, and it is linked to the dream world. Energy flows up the front and down the back on the right side of your body and it is water that flows like a river. The right is fog, moves in waves, and it is linked to the physical world. A vertical narrow strip of light going from bottom to top on the right side of physical control is 10% the total volume of your sphere and it has to move inwardly along the width of the sphere to operate the left side of dream control. The energy of the total body is circular and your right side rules the left with a circular motion. Blood and oxygen flows down into your left side and up out of the right in a counterclockwise motion. Your left sphere has to overlap the right to ignite the boiling point of static energy as water meets fire. Your chest is mind energy flowing up and your abdomen is body energy flowing down. The three parts of a human is body, mind, and soul. The soul see with the eye, the mind hear with the ear, and the body speak with the mouth. Body is the computer, hardware, or hard drive. Mind is software. Soul is electricity or energy. Center vision and dream control writes the software programs or programs your mind. Your physical body covers your dream body. Your dream body is twice the size of your physical body and it is golden like the sun for humans are pieces of the sun. The physical body has form and mass and the dream body has appearance but no mass. The dream body is always creating wires which are projected out of your sphere driven by emotions of any type. The dream body can jump over trees, vanish, fly, expand or shrink, take on different shapes, appear in front of someone and communicate, be aware of the thoughts of people, or become thought and travel to any place. The dream body glues and unglues itself from the physical body with a loud cracking sound when it is ejected out into the environment or injected back into the physical body. The dream body can turn around and look behind you as you travel forward like having an extra set of eyes in the back of your head. When you are daydreaming, your dream body is giving you a taste of where you are in the dream world. A gleam overlays the eyes causing them to shine when you are daydreaming and you can push the gleam out to begin the dream state with either eye or both. The gleam is light energy transformed into liquid. Observe energy gleam as liquid light behind the eyelids when you close your eyes and it is the same movement as energy in your sphere. Your dream body can return to any memory, even birth. The physical body is connected to your dream body with the flash spark. The flash spark is a ball of light energy that flows through the front and back of your heart. It sparkles like an electric current of pure energy. Your flash spark is located an arm's length behind you at the center area between the shoulder blades and it is the size of your fist. The flash spark is the epicenter of your sphere and it lights up wires inside. The shiniest part of the flash spark is outward in females and inward in males. Your flash spark can move to countless positions within your sphere. When the flash spark moves outside of the sphere, it pushes the sphere outwardly without breaking its boundary. While daydreaming or sleep dreaming, your flash spark moves to the left of your sphere and the left side produces dreams. The clearer a dream is means that your flash spark is locked in place. When your flash spark moves to another position, Millions of wires in your sphere fixate on that point framing a crater that becomes a static filled globe or memory pod. A memory pod contains info such as language, birthday, dreams, and other subjects. Every new position of your flash spark creates a sun-like globe that moves around inside of your sphere. Every thought and action is a result of the movement of your flash spark. When the flash spark moves in the upper sphere, the appearance is human, and if it moves toward the equator of the sphere, 
The appearance is a vaporish bubble of vibration blazing with light. A controlled movement of the flash spark is marked by a change in light and daytime becomes dusk or nighttime becomes twilight. Twilight and dusk is the opening between the physical world and dream world as 30 minutes before sunrise, 30 minutes after sunrise, 30 minutes before sunset, and 30 minutes after sunset. The two hours are the in-between sleeping and waking up period of Earth. When dream control is used indoors, it should be done in darkness and when it is used outdoors, it should be done in caves or an area with minimal light. Drowsiness is the beginning of the dream state and the mind and body has to pause between being awake and asleep in order to dream control. There are two types of dreams. An ordinary dream is a phantom world of flat images like photographs where nothing has energy. A dream world is one with items that show energy in third form of a vibrating static frequency. Center view items in your dreaming to see if they have energy or not. Objects within a dream world vibrate and change shape when staring directly, but when glancing at objects, they maintain structure. To gather the tail of an object in a dream, watch around the object instead of looking at it directly. To change dreams, focus on an item in a dream and the item will vibrate and change form pulling you into another dream through a buzzing vortex. Holding the view of an object in a dream keeps your flash spark locked in place. Your eyes are capable of slowing down anything they look at and the eyes can move or pause the flash spark. The flash spark location of sleepwalking enables you to act in the dream world, while being awake in the physical world. During dreams, the door between seen and unseen opens. Mirrors are doors into the dream world. Your mirror self is a sharpened shade from your physical appearance, an exact image, though your mirror self is energy. There are seven natural doors of your mirror self connected to your dream body. 1. The feet. 2. The knees. 3. The tailbone or the bottom of your spine. 4. The navel for female and the solar plexus for male. 5. The heart. 6 the glabella, thalamus, an occipital or the knot between the eyebrows, the center of the brain, and the knot at the back of the skull, the three spots combine as one door, and seven. The soft spot on top of the head. Center view your eyes in a mirror creating one center eye and look at it in focus. While looking at your center eye, breathe in seven seconds starting at the feet going up the body with each second at a door ending at the top of the skull and then breathe out seven seconds starting at the top of the skull going down the body with each second at a door ending at the feet repeat this 14 second process of watching your center eye while breathing up and down the body to balance energy for 11 minutes and 26 seconds to complete a full cycle Notice the pause between inhale and exhale. The pause between each breath is natural when you are asleep. Before inhaling is a pause and before exhaling is a pause at every 7 seconds and each pause is a point of balanced breathing that dwells between the stillness of body and mind. This method opens the mirror door of the dream world. When two or more people are center viewing the center eye in a mirror while breathing up and down the seven doors in unison, they can enter the dream world as a team. You can also enter the dream state with someone by center viewing the center eye of each other while breathing up and down the seven doors. Center viewing sunlight, moonlight, or firelight on a mirror or reflective surface opens a door into the dream world. Two mirrors reflected toward each other with fire or light in between creates an energy pod or portal. Pure flame has no heat in it and sunlight reflected on a piece of quartz is pure flame which can take you into the dream world when center viewed. Lights are seen dazzling before the face when on the verge of entering the dream world. You can also enter the dream state by staring up with both eyes point blank into your glabella with the eyes open or closed. Center viewing the shadow of a tree and the spaces between the leaves with the eyes going in a counterclockwise direction without moving the head opens the dream state. 
Scramble a stack of dry leaves in front of you with your left hand, and feel the leaves as you watch them in center vision. Bring the design of the scrambled leaves into your dream and find the same design in a pile of dry leaves the next day. This method unites dream world with physical world interaction. Combine center viewing and looking at your hands while dreaming. Center vision and dream control are the ingredients used to guide the flash spark. Center view two shadows six inches apart making four shadows as the two center shadows merge into one. This creates a sight of depth, roundness, and volume in the center shadow. Center view the sparkling of sunlight on mountain peaks or the horizon line of bodies of water and it admits you to see the energy lines of earth. Center vision can be used to enlarge or shrink objects. To amplify a specific area of background, center view scanning slowly around the area in a clockwise direction without moving your head with the eyelids half closed allowing a minimal of light into the eyes and divide the area from the background through the eyelashes to increase or decrease magnification. To separate images of a scene, hang a piece of cloth from a low branch of bush in front of the scene. Sit 50 feet away from the cloth and watch the scenery around the cloth in center vision through the low branches. The cloth will become darker than the scene separating the tails that normal vision don't see. The left eye can be used to grab objects just like your hand holds an object and the left ear can scan like a radar to elevate or separate sounds of the environment. The right eye can spot light to see in the dark, and the right ear can hear wherever the spotlight looks. Center viewing clouds opens the ability to ride on clouds. Center view rain and use it as a magnifying glass to reveal details of a scene. Center viewing thunderhead clouds opens the ability to ride a thunderhead or a thunderbolt. The body has to be formless as a droplet of energy when riding a lightning bolt. Center viewing fog in an area uncovers the past of that area. It is simpler to center view the sphere of a human from behind instead of facing the front shield. Center view weather phenomena such as cyclones, hurricane, tornado, typhoon, monsoon, heat waves, shadows of clouds, stars, the flight of birds, ocean, lake, pond, river, moving or still water, mist, ice and aerial objects. Center viewing sweat reveals the timeline of an organism. Water reflects the map of time since the earth began and you can navigate the flashback reflections of earth by center viewing bodies of water to see places you can explore in the source map. Flashbacks are openings of return to alter a past decision. The present is the future of the past and the present is the center view of forwarding and reversing the map of time. Center vision unveils second sight of the environment to see changes in the surroundings by having the eyes look between images blended with other images. Rolling the eyes three times in a clockwise or counterclockwise direction resets the eyes from center vision and also moves your flash spark. The light of the body is the eye. Light energy goes in and out of your eyes. The right eye is physical sight and the left eye is dream sight. Physical sight is light entering the eyes creating imagination inside of your mind and dream sight is light exiting the eyes in center vision shining light through the bright V area at the tip of the nose to see the evidence of things unseen. The left side reflects the mind inside of the sphere and the right side reflects the physical environment outside of the sphere. Center vision is the light switch of the unseen like putting on a special pair of glasses that turn on light to see invisible objects in the physical world. Holding center vision in clarity is similar to adjusting a rabbit-eared TV antenna for a clear picture as the left and right eye wires brush against each other to generate a circuit. To see in center view for extended periods of time, keep your eyelids half closed. Move the eyes from cloud to cloud or mountain to mountain, and you can look for one hour or more. Short glimpses make the eyes capture unseen images. Center view a rock and look at the details of the lines, holes, dents, and other features in center vision and the features of the tails will vanish revealing its core. 
When center viewing into the core of a rock, it will leave a scent, and in the dream world you will know where you are being guided by those scents. In the dream world, shadows of rocks have light and seeing light in shadows of rocks in the dream world grants seeing light in shadows of rocks in the physical world. Use center vision on scenes, animals, insects, or whatever you choose and match your dreaming. Dreaming comes from spots of the body. Males have to focus on the solar plexus to enter the dream state. Males have a bright dent at the solar plexus like a glossy mirror without a reflection. Females have to focus on the womb or navel area to enter the dream state. Find a pebble in your dream and then find the same pebble in the physical world. Place the pebble at your dream spot and while dreaming it gives the ability to dream control. Mid-afternoon is the proper time to center view shadows and it reveals that they have heat, cold, movement, and colors. You can know the inner feelings of a person by center viewing their shadow. Your shadow has energy to heal and it can detach from the physical body to fulfill tasks. Cloudy days have no shadows and at night everything is a shadow. Center view the shadow of a tree on another tree and it shows that the shadow is a substance binding the trees to each other. Center viewing individual leaves of a tree pulls you into a vortex of sensation and the tree becomes a language of sensory data as wavelengths of energy. Noon is the proper time to center view trees and rocks to borrow their energy. Every species has a sphere according to its kind. The flash spark of animals is in the upper part of the sphere and the flash spark of plants is in the lower part of the sphere. Large animals detect human energy and that enables them to know the thoughts of humans. Certain small plants have a sphere almost as huge as a human body and three times its width and they are energy plants which share the largest amount of wires with humans. In center view, poisonous plants are yellow, medicinal plants are violet, and energy plants are white. When center viewing trees in the mid-afternoon, they give the feeling that they are center viewing you. The flash spark of trees is low in their sphere and that permits them to know the feelings of humans. Energy is a constant flux or tremor in the air as a vibrating force that hold fields of energy together. Thunder, rain falling, moving water, and wind blowing is heard with the ears. There are four winds of four directions that blow around four specific times. The east wind at dawn is breezy and it is warm. The north wind at noon is hard and is neither hot or cold. The west wind at dusk is cold. The south wind at midnight is hot. Air is the vehicle of energy and wind carries sound waves. Follow the sound of thunder and observe where it started. Notice the pockets or holes sing sounds within the environment. It is a frequency of vibration and it is the same sound that a TV emits when the volume is muted. The sound of energy is an electric humming or buzzing tune and the louder the volume is the higher the frequency. The universe is energy. The senses of the human body automatically receive energy and can be programmed manually to give energy through the senses. Humans have six glowing energy centers connected to the tendon tracks that run throughout the physical body. The centers in the body display a vortex of energy like a funnel that rotates counterclockwise. The six energy centers are, 1. The liver and gallbladder in the right rib cage, 2. The pancreas and spleen in the left rib cage, 3. The kidneys and adrenals on each side of the rib cage, 4. The V spot at the base of the neck which vibrate energy from the vocal cords. 5. The navel for female and the solar plexus for male, and 6. The soft spot on top of the head. Energy rolls fluidly along the tendon tracks glowing at each center and the six centers combined can eject electrical tendon energy through the palms of the hands and soles of the feet. A sneeze, cough, or jerking bodily movement causes your wires to spasm as your body shifts between fields of energy making the skin feel tingly. 
tendon energy travels swiftly from the six centers, when the physical body jerks with a burst of speed, and by stretching the tendons in a fast motion, it channels electrical energy along your tendon tracks. Placing the palms of the hands on the soles of the feet, while breathing up and down the seven doors circulates thermal energy through the six centers of the physical body. The spinal cord of the human body is a lightning bolt. A human is a sealed energy unit and energy cannot enter or escape the sphere. Energy is fractal within your sphere and the senses of the physical body can be directed like the eyes pinpointing a dark spot on a clear window. You see farther than you hear, you hear farther than you smell, you smell farther than you taste, and you taste farther than you touch. In the dream world, seeing takes the lead and lengthens the sensory range of the other senses. To maintain focus in dreams, feel within the dream that you are touching the roof of your mouth with the tip of your tongue and it stabilizes your physical with the dream body in the dream world. Movement of the dream body comes from the wires at the navel area and is used to maneuver in the dream world as if walking from your belly. The dimple at the navel area of your sphere can be opened or closed with your own energy. Walk and feel your navel wires sweep the ground like a broom with the side-to-side -side movement of your stomach and legs as sensation increases in your midsection as a tingling vibration. The navel wires can be used to grab objects, roll across a waterfall, they can be sent to a specific location, or the wires can be used as a crutch to lift up the whole body. To be aware of the physical and dream world enjoined, enter the dream state with the area you are in at focus in mind. When the dream scene develops, open your eyes in center vision and experience double reality. To bring an item into the dream world, center view the item while in a state of drowsiness. When the scene of view changes into daydreaming or the dream view, Hold the image steady to materialize it in the dream world. To bring an item from the dream world into the physical world, visualize an item from a dream in clarity with your eyes closed while entering the dream state. Once the item is in focus, open your eyes in center vision and the item will be available to grab. The energy of the item will vibrate and it has to be stabilized by holding on tightly until the vibration settles in order to interact with it in the physical world, so do not let go until it stops moving. The physical and dream body can be locate and act out two episodes at once, even if it is only ten feet apart, and the appearance is like looking at identical twins. The twin bodies can double and become four or more. To shift to the dream body and perform a dream feat while awake, repeat the exact movements and feelings of the feat performed in the dream. It causes the dream body to meld with the physical body due to acting out dream memory in the physical world. Dream memory operates your dream body and acting out dream memory with the physical body, while awake activates your dream body. To transport both physical and dream body into the dream world, Visualize an item in clarity within a place you want to travel to while entering the dream state and then find the item in the dream world to verify you are in the exact location. Consider day or night while entering the dream state to match the dream world with physical world time in order to manifest both bodies acting as one. When you are watching someone transfer into the dream world, that person disappears like a puff of air and if you are watching someone as you transfer into the dream world that person and the scenery vanishes in the blink of an eye to return both dream body and physical body from the dream world to the physical world picture an object within a place in the physical world and enter the dream state to wake up in the physical world looking for the object in the exact place you thought of Seeing yourself asleep is two dreams in one, and you can wake up in either dream. The dream world is the twin world of the physical world. The Earth spins counterclockwise on its axis and orbits clockwise around the sun like a ball rolling around inside the edge of a hoop. Time moves left to right in a clockwise direction like the hands of a clock. Your hair, seashells, and plants grow in a counterclockwise motion. The moon orbits counterclockwise around the earth. 
every 7, 14, 21, and 28th day or night, the portals of Earth are opened and closed by the Moon. Full moons or new moons are full openings, while half moons and crescent moons are partial openings. Soaking rays of sunlight, moonlight, or firelight into the eyes builds energy. Running in place while facing the solar energy of the sun increases energy. Sunlight or moonlight through a cloud is a beam of energy pointing to the spot it is lasered on. Energy spreads like sunlight on a cold day. Energy flows south to north. The south pole is positive, and the north pole is negative. Certain geographical areas of high frequency on Earth can move the flash spark and select specific directions for that movement. The electromagnetic grid of Earth is a 24 by 24 Rubik's sphere containing 576 sectors, plus 24 inner sectors that make up the center or heart of the Earth. The center of the electromagnetic grid of Earth is the Congo jungle of Central Africa at the village of Kifuka. This region receives lightning strikes more than any other area on Earth. It is the largest and most active electromagnetic field or portal on Earth. The Congo jungle is connected to every existing energy line of Earth. The total physical and dream body is a 300 by 300 spherical grid of 600 sectors and the center of the grid is the navel. 576 unseen sectors of the human sphere connect to the 576 sectors of Earth. 24 sectors make up the seen physical body in the sphere, and 576 sectors are unseen. Four spheres complete the whole of a human sphere, and a 300 by 300 grid has 90,000 sectors. Each of the 600 world sectors contain 150 sectors. 3,600 sectors make up the seen physical body, and 86,400 sectors make up the unseen sectors in the sphere. 1,800 sectors of the physical body are positive and 1,800 are negative. 43,200 unseen sectors in the sphere are positive and 43,200 are negative. Each of your four spheres have 22,500 sectors. Half of all sectors in your sphere are positive or zero and the other half is negative or one. The sectors contain globes of energy or memory pods. There are 600 worlds in the position of the flash spark and planet Earth is one of the 600. The dream state is linked to the other 599. The other 599 occupy the same space with Earth, but they are invisible and center vision shines light on unseen objects. The spherical grid of the human body can forge into different geometric shapes as a cube, pyramid, or any design. The sphere can transform into a line to intercept the chords of the heliosphere, crunch mass sensory data and compressed data can be categorized in sphere sectors. The heliosphere forms the frequencies of the electromagnetic spectrum. The cords of the heliosphere are always joined in groups. The flash spark is like a tuner of radio stations that connects internal wires to the external cords of the heliosphere for a clear signal. Thoughts are electrical impulses received from the heliosphere in a combo of ones, zeros or both in a qubit which incites sensory input of numeric behavioral patterns. Consciousness is frequency in the layout of wires inside your sphere transmitted from the cords of the heliosphere. The cords of the heliosphere move slower than the wires in the sphere of a human and when a human is daydreaming awake or dreaming asleep, the wires slow down with the cords of the heliosphere. Dream control is the act of detaching from the cords of the heliosphere giving you control over which wire is attached to the cords. The shape of every species on Earth are a group of wires and cords of the heliosphere constructing bodily frame. You can see in center view which heliosphere cords match the sphere wires of a creature. Humans are made out of the cords of the heliosphere wrapped in a sphere with wires that encloses a small amount of the cords. The heliosphere has three large cords that run through eight small cords, which morphs into 48 smaller cords encasing the Earth. 
The first of the three large cords is copper in color and belongs to plants. The second large cord is bronze in color and belongs to insects. The third large cord is golden in color and belongs to humans and animals. The eight small cords produce the seen and unseen. Seven cords produce the unseen dream world and one center cord produce the seen physical world. The 48 smaller cords produce environmental structure of air, land, and sea. Here are three layers of the heliosphere. The first layer is a three-point equilateral triangle of area containing length, width, and height of space circling around Earth. The second layer is a cube of eight points rotating counterclockwise with the Earth networking space with time. The third layer is a 24 by 24 grid generating 48 lines of latitude and longitude referring to the dream world and physical world. Latitude is the dream world of space and longitude is the physical world in the sequence of 24 time zones. During solar or lunar eclipses, daytime appear as dusk and nighttime appear as twilight. While the eclipse is occurring, Energy is multiplied as the cords of the heliosphere puts pressure upon your sphere and sensation is felt as if being submerged in water or a tingling feeling on the body. The ears feel pressurized as if being at a very high point on earth or flying in a plane as the latitude and longitude center points become magnetized with the center point inside of your body moving the flash spark. Your flash spark acts like a magnet gathering wires in your sphere to match with the cords of the heliosphere. When the flash spark moves rapidly back and forth between the physical and dream world continuously, then when it is released quickly, it zips and moves like lightning within the sphere lighting up all of the wires inside intensifying bodily static electricity. When all of the wires in the sphere are lit up, the glow within roars out and overtakes the surface of the sphere displaying a radiant flash of light uniting the physical and dream body as energy allowing full experience of the physical and dream worlds combined. The key is to hold static light energy steady with balanced breathing to sustain form and once light is held in position, transfiguration occurs surpassing human inventory. Soul, Mind and body must fuse as one to transfigure and bypass the electromagnetic spectrum. Transfiguration is the dream body overflowing beyond the skin layer revealing the light within, and it is the highest achievement a human being can accomplish, perfection. Center vision is physical eye control initiating dream eye control to dream control the flash spark and activate transfiguration. Techniques can be combined to achieve different results creating your own style. This is only a small piece of info like a drop of water out of the ocean.